Two Caddo Mills police officers also played critical roles in saving the lives of that woman and, and the two young children. Fox 4's Natalie Solis is live tonight in Caddo Mills with the story and their video of the chase. Natalie. Well, Heather, we are talking about two seasoned officers used to seeing some pretty outrageous stuff working overnight, but today definitely stands out. Now, it was Officer Mitchell Singleton on the left who first spotted the motorhome westbound on I-30. Now, this is his dash cam video once other units joined in the chase. Police had already received a text from the woman claiming she'd been shot and she and her two children kidnapped in that motorhome. Officer Alfonso Olivo joined Singleton along with others and they attempted to pull the driver Tony Kelly over, but they say he then sped up to 90 miles an hour. That's when they say they saw the woman, Candace Price, Kelly's girlfriend, throw herself from the back rear window. Officer Singleton stopped to render aid. She was uh, attempting to talk to me. Um, she, she was beat up pretty bad. Um, she was worried about her kids. That's uh, her main concern. She was hollering, my kids are on there, my kids are on there, I have two kids. Officer Olivo continued with the pursuit at one point using his spike strips to take out a tire. Officer Singleton, who eventually caught up to the chase, also took out a tire with his spike strip. Now, the motorhome eventually came to a stop on I-30 in Arlington. Officer Olivo's body cam captures some of the flames. Well, that's when police say Kelly then pushed one of the children out and tossed a younger child out onto the pavement face first. Officer Olivo, a father of six, says he didn't think twice before rushing to grab both kids. The motorhome already engulfed in flames, a gunshot going off a short time later. I guess you can say all training went out the, out the window and just a parent instinct in me took over and I rushed up there, grabbed both children and made my way to the closest guardrail to get back behind the, the vehicles for cover. Now, both officers say they want to thank the other agencies that did help out in all of this, but especially want to thank dispatch uh, for staying on top of that on top of things and conveying some really critical information. And by the way, Officer Olivo, that father of six, he tells me that he is now in trouble with one of his young sons because today he missed his son's award ceremony. Well, hopefully one day his son will understand that dad had a pretty good reason for missing just this once. Heather? I think you'll understand, but it might, might be one day. Not right now. Thanks, Natalie.